You guys, it's winter time. Where do you put that firewood? Today we are gonna show you an awesome modern project that you can use to store firewood or blankets. And honestly, we'd love to hear your ideas for what you would store in this box. Hey there, Remodelaholics. I'm Cassidy. Welcome back to our DIY channel. We have great weekly tutorials. Please be sure to subscribe. This week, we are so excited to show you how our contributor, Allison, from Shark Tales, built this awesome, versatile storage box. All it took was a sheet of plywood and a few one by twos. This crate is generously sized to store firewood like Allison does, or you could put in blankets and board games, pillows, you name it, even holiday decor. What would you put in this storage box? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love some more good ideas. The great news is it can double as an ottoman or a bench if you need double duty furniture. Allison finished off the storage chest with a beautiful geometric inlaid pattern, which takes it from boring to a conversation piece. As always, feel free to grab the free printable building plans on our site at remodelaholic.com. Um, that was weird. <laughs> Start by cutting your plywood to the dimensions listed in the plans. You can have the hardware store do this if you prefer, or you can cut it using a table saw or a straight edge with a circular saw like Allison did. Drill pocket holes in the square end pieces and attach them to the two long rectangular side pieces to create a bottomless open box. Next, drill pocket holes around the perimeter of the bottom piece piece and attach it to the box flush with the sides. Cut one by two pieces to trim the ends of the box and hide the plywood edges. The dimensions are in the building plan on our website. Attach the trim to both ends of the box and then attach the trim to the front and back of the box. Lining the trim up flush with the trim pieces on the side. Next, cut and attach one by two trim pieces to the edges of the plywood lid piece. Your box, at this point, is pretty much done, but it's also pretty plain. So let's keep going with Allison to see what she does next. She made hers up as she went, beginning with a straight vertical and horizontal pieces, and then filling in the rest with a variety of trapezoids and parallelograms cut using her miter saw. Finish up your storage box by filling all the nail holes and gaps with wood filler. Once the filler is dry, sand everything to a smooth finish. Wipe off any dust with a tack cloth or shop vac and then paint or stain. Allison was excited to try a new spray nozzle so she used a spray paint and primer in one in a semi-gloss white. And if you haven't tried one of these spray paint grips, you should. Your fingers will thank you for it and they're just a few bucks. Now all you have to do is add the piano hinge to the box and you're finished. You could add some lid supports or a handle to make it easier to open and close too if you would like. Allison added casters to the bottom of the box to make it easier to move since she is filling it with firewood for her wood burning stove during the cold Canadian winter. I love how great this bench turned out. It is so versatile. You can use it as a bench, you can use it as an ottoman, you can use it as a coffee table if you wanted. But tell me, what would you use it for and what would you store in it? I really want to know. Let me know in the comments below. Please be sure to give Allison a huge thumbs up. She did such a great job. I love the design. It was so modern and so fun. Be sure to subscribe and check out these other playlists and we'll see you next week. Bye guys.